that before you take your test, I want you to know the family of functions. You need to know what these functions look like. And if you looked at this graph and compared it to the functions on page 99 through 101, you guys would know it would be something like that. Right? You guys remember, this is on your book. We've practiced some of this. This is what the square root of x looks like. So you could have taken a graph and plugged this in, square root of x, and then see if that's what it looks like. Or if you remember the families of function, there was 12 of them on page 100, or 99 through 101. This is also one of those that shows up there. So what they're asking is, how can I now write the equation for this? Um, what would be the equation for this? So basically, we need to think about what transformation happened. What, how did I go from this to that? What did the graph do? It, anybody want to raise their hand and try to go for one? Yes, yes, Kevin, go for it. Well, be fair. Just at, I'm not. I'm gonna not address that. I'm just saying, what? Where did it move? How did it move? What happened? Oh, it, moved to the left. it moved to the left, and you could say five units, right? So you're. So if you remember, which transformation moved the graph left or right? Was it transformations inside the function, or outside the function? Outside the function. Oh, I'm sorry. Inside. inside the function is your horizontal transformation, and if it was positive, that would move it to the left. So therefore, I could write f of x equals the square root of x. Now since it's inside, that means it has to be under the radical. So x plus 5 would be your correct answer. Anybody have any other questions on any of the other ones in there? <coughs> 